C I E T N C E R T presents audio book of mathematics for class 6 chapter 12 ratio and proportion part 1 page 244 12.1 introduction in our daily life many a times we compare two quantities of the same type for example Avni and Shari collected flowers for scrap notebook. Avni collected 30 flowers and Shari collected 45 flowers. So, we may say that Shari collected 45 minus 30 is equal to 15 flowers more than Avni. Also, if height of Rahim is 150 centimeters and that of Avni is 140 centimeters, then we may say that the height of Rahim is 150 centimeters minus 140 centimeters is equal to 10 centimeters more than Avni. This is one way of comparison by taking difference. If we wish to compare the lengths of an ant and a grasshopper, taking the difference does not express the comparison. The grasshopper's length, typically 4 cm to 5 cm is too long as compared to the ant's length, which is a few millimeters. Comparison will be better if we try to find that how many ants can be placed one behind the other to match the length of grasshopper. So, we can say that 20 to 30 ants have the same length as a grasshopper. Consider another example. Cost of a car is 2,50,000 rupees and that of a motorbike is 50,000 rupees. If we calculate the difference between the costs, it is 2 lakh rupees and if we compare by division, that is 2,50,000 divided by 50,000 is equal to 5 divided by 1. Page 245 we can say that the cost of the car is five times the cost of the motorbike. Thus, in certain situations, comparison by division makes better sense than comparison by taking the difference. The comparison by division is the ratio. In the next section, we shall learn more about ratios. 12.2 Ratio Consider the following. Isha's weight is 25 kilograms and her father's weight is 75 kilograms. How many times father's weight is of Isha's weight? It is three times. Cost of a pen is 10 rupees and cost of a pencil is 2 rupees. How many times the cost of a pen that of a pencil? Obviously, it is five times. In the above examples, we compared the two quantities in terms of how many times. This comparison is known as the ratio. We denote ratio using symbol colon. Consider the earlier examples again. We can say the ratio of father's weight to Isha's weight is equal to 75 divided by 25, which is equal to 3 divided by 1, which is equal to 3 is to 1. The ratio of the cost of a pen to the cost of a pencil is equal to 10 divided by 2, which is equal to 5 divided by 1, which is equal to 5 is to 1. Let us look at this problem. In a class, there are 20 boys and 40 girls. What is the ratio of A. Number of girls to the total number of students B. Number of boys to the total number of students First, we need to find the total number of students, which is number of girls plus number of boys, which is equal to 20 plus 40, which is equal to 60. Then, the ratio of number of girls to the total number of students is 40 divided by 60, which is equal to 2 divided by 3, which is equal to 2 is to 3. Find the answer of part B in the similar manner. Try these. 1. In a class, there are 20 boys and 40 girls. What is the ratio of the number of boys to the number of girls? 2. Ravi walks 6 kilometers in an hour. 
while Russian walks 4 kilometers in an hour. What is the ratio of the distance covered by Ravi to the distance covered by Russian? Now, consider the following example. Length of a house lizard is 20 centimeters and the length of a crocodile is 4 meters. Next to the question is a picture in a box of a lizard and the crocodile. The crocodile is telling the lizard, I am bigger, you are smaller. I am five times bigger than you, says the lizard. As we can see, this is really absurd. Page 246 A lizard's length cannot be five times of the length of a crocodile. So, what is wrong? Observe that the length of the lizard is in centimeters and length of the crocodile is in meters. So, we have to convert their lengths into the same unit. Length of the crocodile is equal to 4 meters, which is equal to 4 multiplied by 100, which is equal to 400 centimeters. Therefore, ratio of the length of the crocodile to the length of the lizard is equal to 400 divided by 20, which is equal to 20 divided by 1, which is equal to 20 is to 1. Two quantities can be compared only if they are in the same unit. Now, what is the ratio of the length of the lizard to the length of the crocodile? It is 20 divided by 400, which is equal to 1 divided by 20, which is equal to 1 is to 20. Observe that the two ratios, 1 is to 20 and 20 is to 1, are different from each other. The ratio 1 is to 20 is the ratio of the length of the lizard to the length of the crocodile, whereas 20 is to 1 is the ratio of the length of the crocodile to the length of the lizard. Try these. 1. Saurabh takes 15 minutes to reach school from his house and Sachin takes 1 hour to reach school from his house. Find the ratio of the time taken by Saurabh to the time taken by Sachin. 2. Cost of a toffee is 50 paise and cost of a chocolate is 10 rupees. Find the ratio of the cost of a toffee to the cost of a chocolate. 3. In a school there were 73 holidays in one year. What is the ratio of the number of holidays to the number of days in one year? Now consider another example. Length of a pencil is 18 centimeters and its diameter is 8 millimeters. What is the ratio of the diameter of the pencil to that of its length? Since the length and the diameter of the pencil are given in different units, we first need to convert them into same unit. Thus, length of the pencil is equal to 18 centimeters, which is equal to 18 into 10 millimeters, which is equal to 180 millimeters. The ratio of the diameter of the pencil to that of the length of the pencil is equal to 8 divided by 180, which is equal to 2 divided by 45, which is equal to 2 is to 45. Think of some more situations where you compare two quantities of same type in different units. We use the concept of ratio in many situations of our daily life without realizing that we do so. Compare the drawings A and B. B looks more natural than A. Why? Next to this question we have two drawings labelled A and B. Both the drawings are of two different boys. Page 247 The legs in the picture A are too long in comparison to the other body parts. This is because we normally expect a certain ratio of the length of legs to the length of whole body. Compare the two pictures of a pencil. Next to the question we have two pictures of a pencil. Is the first one looking like a full pencil? No. Why not? The reason is that the thickness and the length of the pencil are not in the correct ratio. Same ratio in different situations. Consider the following. Length of a room is 30 meters and its breadth is 20 meters. 
So the ratio of length of the room to the breadth of the room is equal to 30 by 20, which is equal to 3 by 2, which is equal to 3 is to 2. There are 24 girls and 16 boys going for a picnic. Ratio of the number of girls to the number of boys is equal to 24 by 16 is equal to 3 by 2 is equal to 3 is to 2. The ratio in both the examples is 3 is to 2. Note the ratios 30 is to 20 and 24 is to 16 in lowest form are same as 3 is to 2. These are equivalent ratios. Can you think of some more examples having the ratio 3 is to 2? It is fun to write situations that give rise to a certain ratio. For example, write situations that give the ratio 2 is to 3. Ratio of the breadth of a table to the length of the table is 2 is to 3. Sheena has 2 marbles and her friend Shabnam has 3 marbles. Then the ratio of marbles that Sheena and Shabnam have is 2 is to 3. Can you write some more situations for this ratio? Give any ratio to your friends and ask them to frame situations. Ravi and Rani started a business and invested money in the ratio 2 is to 3. After one year, the total profit was 4 lakh rupees. Ravi said, we would divide it equally. Rani said, I should get more as I have invested more. It was then decided that profit will be divided in the ratio of their investment. Here, the two terms of the ratio 2 is to 3 are 2 and 3. Some of these terms is equal to 2 plus 3 equal to 5. What does this mean? This means if the profit is 5 rupees, then Ravi should get 2 rupees and Rani should get 3 rupees. Or we can say that Ravi gets two parts and Rani gets three parts out of the five parts. Page 248 That is, Ravi should get two by five of the total profit and Rani should get three by five of the total profit. If the total profit were 500 rupees, Ravi would get rupees two by five into 500, which is equal to 200 rupees and Rani would get 3 by 5 into 500 which is equal to 300 rupees. Now if the profit were 4 lakh rupees could you find the share of each? Ravi's share is equal to rupees 2 by 5 into 4 lakh which is equal to rupees 1 lakh 60,000 and Rani's share is equal to rupees 3 by 5 into 4 lakh which is equal to rupees 2 lakh 40 thousand. Can you think of some more examples where you have to divide a number of things in some ratio? Frame three such examples and ask your friends to solve them. Let us look at the kind of problems we have solved so far. Try these. 1. Find the ratio of number of notebooks to the number of books in your bag. Two. Find the ratio of number of desks and chairs in your classroom. 3. Find the number of students above 12 years of age in your class. Then find the ratio of number of students with age above 12 years and the remaining students. 4. Find the ratio of number of doors and the number of windows in your classroom. 5. Draw any rectangle and find the ratio of its length to its breadth. Example 1. Length and breadth of a rectangular field are 50 meters and 15 meters respectively. Find the ratio of the length to the breadth of the field. Solution. Length of the rectangular field is equal to 50 meters. Breadth of the rectangular field is equal to 15 meters. The ratio of the length to the breadth is 50 is to 15. The ratio can be written as 50 upon 15 equal to 50 divided by 5 upon 15 divided by 5, which is equal to 
10 divided by 3, which is equal to 10 is to 3. Thus, the required ratio is 10 is to 3. Page 249. Example 2. Find the ratio of 90 centimeters to 1.5 meters. Solution. The two quantities are not in the same units. Therefore, we have to convert them into same units. 1.5 meters is equal to 1.5 multiplied by 100 centimeters, which is equal to 150 centimeters. Therefore, the required ratio is 90 is to 150, which is equal to 90 upon 150, equal to 90 multiplied by 30 upon 150 multiplied by 30, which is equal to 3 upon 5. Required ratio is 3 is to 5. Example 3. There are 45 persons working in an office. If the number of females is 25 and the remaining are males, find the ratio of a. The number of females to number of males. b. The number of males to number of females. Solution. Number of females is equal to 25. Total number of workers is equal to 45. Number of males is equal to 45 minus 25, which is equal to 20. Therefore, the ratio of number of females to the number of males is equal to 25 is to 20, equal to 5 is to 4. And the ratio of number of males to the number of females is equal to 20 is to 25, which is equal to 4 is to 5. Notice that there is a difference between the two ratios 5 is to 4 and 4 is to 5. Example 4. Give two equivalent ratios of 6 is to 4. Solution. Ratio 6 is to 4 is equal to 6 upon 4, which is equal to 6 multiplied by 2 upon 4 multiplied by 2, which is equal to 12 upon 8. Therefore, 12 is to 8 is an equivalent ratio of 6 is to 4. Similarly, the ratio 6 is to 4 is equal to 6 upon 4 equal to 6 multiplied by 2 divided by 4 multiplied by 2, which is equal to 3 upon 2. So, 3 is to 2 is another equivalent ratio of 6 is to 4. Therefore, we can get equivalent ratios by multiplying or dividing the numerator and denominator by the same number. Write two more equivalent ratios of 6 is to 4. Example 5. Fill in the missing numbers. 14 upon 21 is equal to dash upon 3, which is equal to 6 upon dash. Solution. In order to get the first missing number, we consider the fact that 21 is equal to 3 multiplied by 7. That is, when we divide 21 by 7, we get 3. This indicates that to get the missing number of second ratio, 14 must also be divided by 7. When we divide, we have 14 divided by 7 is equal to 2. Page 250. Hence, the second ratio is 2 by 3. Similarly, to get third ratio, we multiply both terms of second ratio by 3. Why? Hence, the third ratio is 6 upon 9. Therefore, 14 by 21 is equal to 2 by 3, which is equal to 6 by 9. These are all equivalent ratios. Example 6. Ratio of distance of the school from Mary's home to the distance of the school from John's home is 2 is to 1. A. Who lives nearer to the school? B. Complete the following table which shows some possible distances that Mary and John could live from the school. Distance from Mary's home to school in kilometers 10 dash 4 dash dash Distance from John's home to school in kilometers 5, 4, dash, 3, 1. Fill in the blanks. C. If the ratio of distance of Mary's home 
to the distance of Kalam's home from school is 1 is to 2, then who lives nearer to the school? Solution A. John lives nearer to the school, as the ratio is 2 is to 1. B. Distance from Mary's home to school in kilometres 10, 8, 4, 6, 2. Distance from John's home to school in kilometres 5, 4, 2, 3, 1. C. Since the ratio is 1 is to 2, so Mary lives nearer to the school. Example 7. Divide 60 rupees in the ratio 1 is to 2 between Kriti and Kiran. Solution. The two parts are 1 and 2. Therefore, sum of the parts is equal to 1 plus 2 equal to 3. This means if there are 3 rupees, Kriti will get 1 rupee and Kiran will get 2 rupees. Or we can say that Kriti gets 1 part and Kiran gets 2 parts out of every 3 parts. Therefore, Kriti's share is equal to 1 upon 3 into 60 equal to 20 rupees. And Kiran's share is equal to 2 upon 3 into 60 equal to 40 rupees. You were just listening to the audiobook Mathematics for Class 6. Narrator Gaurav Marva. Assistance in Production Soumya Malik. Producer Vimlesh Chaudhary. Presented by CIET NCERT New Delhi. India.